Brendan and Brian arguing over Kanye West. Do you guys want to see Brendan and Brian arguing over Kanye West? Of course you want to see Brendan Schaub and Brian Kanye argue over Kanye West. Can we go to why Kanye West? What is he doing with his wife? He's just parading around in like... Happy. What is he doing with his wife? Brian Callen talking about another man's wife, considering that he's been married twice, is hilarious. And Brian Callen also having a problem with how another man, you know, um, treats his wife, considering he's been, a, you know, accused of rape and actual and and other litany of sexual assault harassment suits, is quite funny. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to mind your business. Sometimes you got to mind your business. Yeah, What's the latest stuff, outfit? Yeah. She just so walks nuts. around half naked all the time. Oh, is, is it too loud? My bad. Sorry, 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 guys. Sorry, guys. Too loud. Too loud. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Like, is they, like, what is he doing? But uh, people are. I'm fans are saying that he's controlling her in that way. But she might just want to just do that. You know, whatever. Oh yeah, it's a girl we've never heard of, and then now she's famous. As fuck. Exactly, also, yeah. if. Also, if your girl has that body for marketing, we're all so, talking yeah. about it. It's brilliant. If your guy, if your girl has that body, how much has he been drooling over fucking Bianca Sensori's body, eh? If your girl has that body. By the way, um, let's just put this out there. Bianca Sensori has been wearing or has been dressing like that before she met Ye. That's her style. She enjoys wearing clothes in that fashion. And if I'm not mistaken, she has a completely different styling team to what um, Ye has. I think it's a couple or a duo. That styles Bianca Sensori, um, Kanye West's wife. So it's not as if like Ye is the one that's picking out her clothes. Do you know what I mean? She enjoys wearing that shit. Like, well, what do you want her to do? She's married to one of the richest men in the world. She just have to work. I think a lot of fashion, a lot of what we wear is almost dependent on what we actually do as a job. Because if you had a job where you didn't need to like get messy or whatever maybe, or you could be a little bit free and loose and you lived in a nice place all over the world, you could get away with a lot more things than regular person going on their nine and fives could get away with. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, let's let's hear what Brendan and Brian have to say about the fashion of Bianca Sensori, Yeezy, Kanye West, all that good stuff. Let's see what they say here. Yeah. Like that's it. You noticed it. Yeah. If you just did a cover with him with a gold grill, like new Kanye West, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, but, but it's brilliant. But, but brilliant. What do you mean? Why do you, why do you do it with the gold grill, by the way? Because he's black. Why would Kanye West have a cover of an album where he's got a gold grill on? We're all talking about marketing wise. That's what he does. Wait, so what do you want me to look brilliant. at? Brilliant. Just because we're talking about it doesn't mean it's just it's 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 so you know like, so you know anti-semitism and all that i love stuff. that i love brian i love brian pushing back at brendan for once just because he's brilliant just doesn't mean just because it's, it's it's marketing doesn't mean it's brilliant let's one more time about that that was good we don't usually see that but that was some good pushback there from brian brilliant what do you mean brilliant Hold on, let's go back yeah. about it it's brilliant yeah like that's that you noticed it yeah, if you just did a cover with him with a gold grill, like new Kanye West, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, but it's brilliant. But, but, but brilliant, what do you mean brilliant? We're all talking about marketing wise. That's what he does. Wait, so what do you want me to look brilliant. at? Brian? Just because we're talking. That's, that's Brian's life, by the way. That's Brendan's life. Brendan's life of marketing or Brendan's philosophy of marketing is that let's just get everyone talking about me. Ne not about what message you're trying to push out. You know, nothing. It's all about let's get this out in public to make sure people can fucking purchase this. That's all it is. That's his. That's what marketing means to Brendan. Who's talking about it? How viral is it? Blah blah blah. Talking about it doesn't mean it's just it's it's. it's so you know, like, so you know, it's anti-Semitism and all that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. It was the stuff. number one album in the world. Yeah, but that's not that's not a thing to be. That's not good. That he has number one album. Is Brian Callen Jewish, by the way? Maybe Brian Callen's got some deep, you know, Israeli roots. That's why he's going so hard in the paint. <laughs> Maybe. No, it's not good. It's not good that he knows how to trend by being anti-Semitic or that he's. I'm not saying it is. He uses people like I'm not his wife it is. to do that. I'm don't you use people like Joe Rogan? Didn't you use people like Rogan to get your career where you wanted to get it? Come on, man. I'm just saying it's working. But, but, but working in what sense? What do you mean working? He's a billionaire. That doesn't mean shit, Brendan. That, but he's, a, that he's making money? No, it means nothing. It means zero. It is, it is, on, it is like saying well, on, just because Brian. something works on, doesn't mean it should be like in any way, in any way applauded. <laughs> It's bullshit. Behavior. I'm not applauding it, and it's a classic I'm, example I, on, of what's wrong on. with our culture. I'm not applauding it, but I'm for if you're Kanye West's manager, you're not gonna say hey. Hold on, how does he say Kanye West? How does Brendan say Kanye West? Kenye? How do you say his name? It's bullshit. Behavior. I'm not applauding it, and it's a classic I'm, example I, hold on, of what's hold wrong on. with our culture. I'm not applauding it, but I'm for if you're. Kanye Big up, Assad. Appreciate you. Can't wait for Lil Brow's anti-Semitic album rollout. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna smash it. He actually might ironically do that well. 
because you know that hatred is deep seated. So he must have some real bars in the tuck, ready to fucking let go. You know, ready to let go. Big up fucking Assad. Big up fucking Assad. And hopefully, little brow comes with some content we can react to. Kanye West manager, you're not gonna say, "Hey, don't oh, do this." Jesus Christ! Right? Well, well, okay. I could give a fuck about what a manager says. I mean, th these are not criteria for how to live a life, a good life, in my opinion. I think it's just fucking, it's literally worshiping the wrong things. I agree it's not you. good, but I- Bring I'm, up his wife. <laughs> Let me see what, he's, what the latest outfit is. I just saw this thing on. What's her name? Bianca something? Or? Yeah, I, I think, I think the, 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 the biggest he's issue off Instagram, is, like an is, is highlighting out all of our, it just yeah, goes back just to everything that bums me out about my culture. I mean, shows What bums you about your culture? Your Filipino culture? Your Afghanistan culture, your British culture, what is your culture? There's a lot of ass and stuff. Too. Like, there's this yeah, she's, now, she's a looker, I'll tell you that much. I she is a looker. Yeah, it wouldn't work if she was a war. I farfic, I promise you, farfic, I promise you, farfic, I promise you, this show was good. It didn't last long. I'm not saying it was good for like four years, but I promise you, there was a short period of time where the fire and the kid was actually quite funny. It right at the beginning. Right at the beginning, it was quite funny. I promise you it was. I promise you it was. It fell off really fast, and then they got another Rogan bump, and then, you know, whatever else transpired with the Fire and the Kid and stuff. But I really do believe the Fire and the Kid was insanely funny at one point. It really fucking was. It really fucking was. Warlock. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a but fan. But that's not attractive. Oh, shut yeah. up, son. You think? No. It's uh don't get me wrong she's she's a she's a pretty girl herself sanaz but come on bro style is subjective isn't it fashion is subjective like let's relax a little bit isn't it? let's relax a little bit sloppy uh, yeah. okay well no i i mean i i i think it, he's just a very strange guy i she's literally this strange fashion piece and i also like how brendan has nothing to say you know when brendan has when brendan doesn't want to make a mistake he doesn't want to get fucked up and get clipped up he's keeping completely quiet he hasn't said a single word no matter no matter what no matter clap nothing interesting isn't it interesting that he is uh like yeah. like he's dressing her it's yeah. like a doll he's it's like an people art are saying, piece but he's parading what, around but if she wants to her. do it if she's like you know down to do it then it's up well, to her I, you know she's an adult right yeah, you can do whatever you want that's a that's yeah. a hell of a booty and boobs like yeah. everything yeah. and she looks just like kim kardashian which is also kind of weird. well maybe better well, i mean very similar let's relax yeah. let's relax <laughs> yeah definitely similar i think they're very different in the in the looks person. yeah but i could be wrong. i don't approve <laughs> <laughs> I think I guess what we don't approve of you brian allegedly graping somebody we don't approve of that either and keeping it hush hush for all this time i don't approve of that in the slightest so i don't approve off started it just bums me it bums me out that he's a it just bums me out that sometimes i look at american culture and i think of i say um, the american lost i just yeah. do I maybe it's, okay, it's right. maybe it's just bums cool me name. out that we no worship name. the wrong things who, who else do you have an issue with um I have an issue with spectacle and I have an issue with uh, getting attention. I have an issue with a culture that rewards you for f f doing anything to get the lens on you. You're talking about Brendan. You're talking about so whatever uh, you say, you can violate all the standards of common decency, whether Brendan. it's in sportsmanship, sure. whatever, and you get the attention and you make a lot of money. Uh -huh. I don't think that's a reason to do anything. I, Just because I, I think, I think with Con Connie's a little bit because he's been relevant for 20 years and his music's so good. Yeah. Like he's so talented. That's right. That's why he can get away with it. If his music was trash, this doesn't work. Yeah, good point. Good point. But good because point. he's good so point, good Brandon. at this, it's like Sean Great Strickland. Point, some of the stuff he says, whether you agree with it or not, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty rough. But he was a world champion, so you're going to put up with it. With Kanye, it's me. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about there. Anyway, that was it. Kanye um, talk regarding, or Kanye talk, most of it centered around Bianca Sensori. Both of these guys had all right points, I guess, for the, for the sake of it. But the take, real takeaway from this is, as most people are aware, because I mentioned it. The fighter and the kid was funny when Brian took the lead and Bapa was shy. When Bapa made himself the center of attention, it became unwatchable. -able. Oh, that's a good point, actually. That's a fucking really good point. I never thought about that, actually. Pick up Keith T. I was actually trying to pinpoint the time when T Fat K did go to shit. And that's a very good shout. That's a very good shout because the early episodes, Brian was a little bit more of the A mic. Do you remember that? Fucking great point, Keith T. Very great point. Yeah, Brian was a bit more of the A mic. A mic, sorry. 
he was the one that was sometimes introducing segments, wrapping segments up and shit. But maybe it was after all the like you know, um, all of the Friday. What, what was I think called the Friday editions things I, I was meant to pick out in you know, to read and shit. But yeah, that's that's a really fucking good point. That's a really fucking good point. Um, I like it. What are my scores on at home though? Big up, NJ Ranger. Leave it to Rinks to take a descent. If chauvinistic take and ruin it by turning it into this is the downfall of the West. Never misses an opportunity to miss an opportunity. Exactly, 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 NJ Ranger. Exactly. That's Rinks for you, man. That's Rinks for you. He's probably still very insecure about not making his dad happy. So he subjects us to those fucking stupid, you know, lectures that he should be maybe giving in a college somewhere. It's fucking annoying. And also this hat. This hat as a grown man, probably as bad as the 41st birthday balloons. This hat he has on there. Wearing that as a grown ass man is fucking G-A-Y. Go fast, die, die don't die, you know. What? Or don't, like, who cares? Look at him. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the size of him. Look at that. God almighty. Let's just, let, actually, let, let's finish this clip. Music's so good, so massive. He's been around for 20 years, dominating the charts. They're putting up with it. Yeah. Whatever. Good boy. Fuck bro. all that anti Semitism. Fuck all yeah, that. Yeah, it's not it's, good. It's, no, it's, no. <laughs> Israel Brian. Brian standing up for Israel is fucking hilarious. Brian Netanyahu. Brian Netanyahu. No one supports it's, it's not good, not, but if that's their goal not, to make not, more it's money. It's so not inspiring to me. For you, for sure. His music, yeah, he's really. What, what is inspiring to you? Let, tell us something you're inspired by, Brian, please. He was really good, at, really good at music. Like he's got, he's 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 a musical genius, and people say, yeah. Some say the best of all. Time. Sometimes he's just, yeah. you know, sometimes weirdos and artists like that do yeah, other he's shit. He's out there. Okay. Dali was uh, Salvador Dali was a okay. ghastly human being. History lesson from Brian Callen. No, thank you. We're gonna skip that. Let's move on. Um, no history lessons for Brian Callen. I fucking will rather throw myself out of a window than hear him talk about fucking Salvador Dali, uh, Afghanistan. Pakistan, like get fucked. Anyway, next one. Um, intern hangs chin out to dry. Let's see this. One. This is actually quite good. I don't, I don't mind this one. He had ordered sprinkles chin cupcakes. Oh god, the, the sound's still so fucking high. Apologies if I blew your ears out. I need to fucking adjust this sound all the time. Sorry, 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 sorry. We originally oh, no. had ordered sprinkles chin cupcakes. Brian put his bag. Just I'll no, tell you. No. This. <laughs> we originally ordered Susie cakes, yep. but then yesterday with everything kind of flipping, I had to call them and be like, hey, you know, we have to put the order on hold. And then I tried to get them this morning, but they don't open till 11. So Chin is like, Yo, big up Theodore. It's very likely Brian's father is trying to buy up some Israeli settlement yeah. land as he says yeah, that. Exactly. 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 Exactly, Theodore. That's probably why he said that. He's been promised like, a massive multi multi multiplex, isn't it? Yeah, you're fucking right. Wow, that's fucking a good point. It really is. I love it. Let's see it's the big up a field though. Appreciate you. Can you go to a seven eleven? And I'm like, seven <laughs> eleven? Chin. That's he what you think of me, Chin. No, dude. this is why you didn't come to the birthday. Emer what, what are we doing here? What are we imagine, imagine. Imagine being chin and being Asian and then being okay with sending the, your boss a fucking, you know. Sainsbury's cake, a 7 Eleven cake. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being chin and being okay eating a, a cake from a petrol station? Or, you know, Sainsbury's not, pep well, I guess 7 Elevens aren't the technically petrol stations, but you get what I mean. God almighty. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? What are we fucking doing here? What are we fucking doing here? Yeah. yeah. 